Hi everyone, it's Donnie and you are watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. Today I have um, an unboxing, but I kind of peeked at my tracking app to see what was delivered. And let me get this cord out of the way. So this is supposed to be the replacement canvases for my very large Walking Dead and the Disney montage that I had. I don't think that there's two in here, but I could be wrong because there's no drills. It feels just awfully light. So before I get upset, I'm going to go ahead and open this and see what we have. It's definitely the box. Now, if you remember, the paintings were 120 by 40 and 100 by 40. Oh, here's the revealing moment. Do we have one or two? Oh, there is two. Okay. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to open these all the way up because of how big they are. Um, I probably can. I didn't prepare because I did not realize that that's what this was. All right, I had to get that noise off. So, um, I would have done this out in the kitchen on the table. Well, they have the Sun Ore Group paper on here, so I don't know if that's gonna make a difference because the last one had just the, the plain covering on it. So let's start with the shorter one. I'm gonna leave as much room as I can up here on the desk. But I did, I do have my, here, let me put push the camera back just a tad bit and I will actually have more room. Oh, I'm excited and nervous. You guys nervous too? If you don't remember what I went through with this, I will link right here my unboxing of this. So you might want to pause this and go watch that one first, just so you know. This is really hard to get off this time, it's just so you know what um, I'm talking about. Now I know somebody had complained about too much crinkling of uh, paper, crinkling paper, when I was setting up on my drill with me. But that might have been because of the microphone, might have been picking it up. If, if you ever have a problem with it crinkling, um, there is an option that you can do on your video. The bottom left hand corner, there is a volume meter so that you can turn my video down. That way, if you don't want to turn your computer volume down or whatnot, um, it might help with that. Or you could just fast forward it past the crinkling parts. I won't be offended. All right. So this is, I don't even have the papers pulled up, but I can pull out the picture for you so you can see it better. All right, this, the picture for this one is right here. And this is what this is supposed to look like. I thought it was super cute. I know exactly where I'm gonna put it and everything. And I waited a long time to order this and I ordered it as custom. Um, I think it was during their sale. Yeah, it was during that big sale they had at the end of August. But I paid $14.95 for this 100 by 40. And yeah, just because I paid $15 for it doesn't mean that you know, I shouldn't have quality, you know? So I did contact them about the puckers. So I'm gonna look at the back first. 
see what we got. Looking very clean so far. It smells good. I mean, I'm weird like that. I like the smell of um, plastic, and that's what this smells like. It doesn't stink. I mean, to me, it doesn't. It's like when you open a new book, and it's got that new book smell. You know, I've got that same thing with, like, some plastic stuff. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't see a single pucker on here. Maybe they... Uh, made sure not to mess it up or maybe they just changed the, the cover type to make sure it didn't um i didn't get crappy canvas this time but even unrolling it it doesn't it, it hasn't um given me any of those wrinkles that you get so here let me just start on one end and we'll we'll do one half at a time okay Okay, here's the moment of truth. Let's uncover it. 50 colors in this. And I'll show you the key real quick here. This is a square. And it's the typical typical Huacan um, symbols. And there's some in there that I haven't seen before, but there are 40, I mean 50 colors, so that's quite a bit. Um, this is from Evershine, though, just not to get that confused. Um, the The colors are basically spread out. There's not like one specific color. The one color that has the most is three si three seven five six, and that's kind of a um, off white. I'm not sure if that's the one with the green in it. I get those two mixed up, but that's got forty seven forty three, four thousand seven hundred forty three. Why is my phone making that noise? Normally it doesn't when I'm recording. But 310 has 3,600, so that's even less than that. All right, let's stop jibber-jabbering. Get to... I'm just nervous. <laughs> and I'm afraid to open this up and not be able to put them back down again. I mean, so far I'm very optimistic, but I don't want to get my hopes crushed. There's no puckers, at least. So... Oh, and the color is beautiful. Way better than last time. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is pretty. Let's open it up a little bit more here. You see that? Oh my gosh, look at those colors. I just, I just really hope that they said, well, they had to have, it was a custom, so. I'm just hoping it was the same exact, you know, layout so my gems will match. Here, let me show you this uh, drill field. So that is so clear. This makes me want to just dig in and start doing it. This was worth the wait. I mean, I, I pursued it. At first, I was just going to inform them of the issues. But then it's like, no, you know, I don't want to have to mess with it. So, and, and it was also the reaction of what she told me when I told her of the issues. And she told me to place the drills on there anyway. And show her that they're not going to stay down because of the huge puckers. Okay, now this is overlapped a bit. So I'm going to open this one first because it's on top of the one above it. And here we go. The co they must have fixed their printers because look at how bright this is. Look at that. You can actually see Mickey Mouse. You can tell that it's him. This is just gorgeous. I'm actually very impressed. I think they're starting to redeem themselves. But like I said, this is overlapped here. So 
this is one where I'm going to have to go very slow. And I don't, I don't know how far down it goes. We'll see in a minute here. Then I'll just push it down with my tweezers, the, the flat part of my tweezers, before I lay these back down. Looks like, yeah, it's barely overlapped here, just like by a hair. And we're out of the woods. There. Oh, that's Minnie Mouse. Sorry. Now I see the bow. But I think this is going to come out really clear. I can I can see I can see Scrooge McDuck over here scowling, and you can kind of see it too. Let me turn try turning this light off to see if that helps. It's a little darker, but yeah, you can see now without the I can't get that big one off, or else I'll have no light in here. But there we go. The colors, they're just so vibrant now. I wish they would have um, realized their mistake before so many people got a bad impression about their company. Well, I mean, everybody loved them. And I mean, I loved them. I was ordering like crazy from their shops. And, and then um, all this happened with the drill popping and the bad canvases and the um, not being able to see how because of the the printers whatever issue they were having but somebody said that they were changing it to where their their square drills they weren't going to have this the border around them and this is actually the first one I've gotten from one of the the companies that was well no I got square from my last one too, I think. No, that was a round. I'm trying to think. No, my last one was a square. The one I got with the beach scene from Evershine. And it still had the... It has the borders around it. So I don't know. Maybe that person in the group that showed us a picture of it, I think they may have just had either a fluke. I would return it. If that was you, I would um, contact the store and tell them that you just can't work with it like that. It needs to have the borders around it. There we go. So there, that's all good. It's all flattened down now. Let's pull this last one off and then I will open up the other side. So we have no drills to go over because that was in the original package. I know you can't see this down here. Let me pull it up a little bit so you can see the rest. See, nice and clear. And look how shiny the canvas is. I mean, this is as perfect as you can get. Well, except for the... Um, here, in fact, let's use the scoring system. One point for canvas condition. Yeah, well, um, I think the canvas condition might need more than just one point. So I think on this one, I'm going to, um, I'm going to do three points for canvas condition and only one point for everything being included because of the fact that all that I needed included on this particular one was the canvases because the tools and everything were in the original and everything was there. So we're going to call that a one. For everything being there uh, if I were to have rated my do it done the rating system on the original one it would have been um, not a very good rating because of the cam canvas condition was really bad and that's why I want to give I I'm gonna just readjust the this um, <coughs> excuse me the guidelines for scoring for myself so that um, canvas condition gets three points because there's different aspects of the condition of the canvas. There's the buckling and the bubbling portion and then there's the laying of 
these. Um, I mean, if they get, if they can get everything lay, laid down, their pieces laid down without overlapping, that's one point for me right there. So it is possible to have buckling bubbles and overlapped um, adhesive. So those would be the three main points, main points for getting points. So I will take one point away for having it overlapped. Even though it was slightly overlapped, it was still overlapped. And it's just one point. Nine is still good. And we still have the other half to look at, so. I know it takes me so long just to put these back, but hey, look at that. I got it just about perfect. Not perfect, but just about. Okay, and then one point for clarity of symbols, definitely. They got that point. Oh no. Here, let's put lift the computer up. And I know you can't see this, but I'm moving my computer so that I can put the canvas over that far. There we go. Okay, so it got the one point for uh, clarity of symbols so far. Well, they're they're clear. We we saw that. Uh, points for complete bead inventory. It did have that, and the one point for everything being included. And the outside packaging was good. It was wrapped in what they normally wrap it in, and the contents. How the contents were packaged. They had it around a foam roller and cellophane wrapped. So this will get a total of nine points for this one. And then I still have the second one to look at. Okay, this is as far back as we need to go. So if you could just let me know, does it, is it better for you watching these videos if I have this, the light off that I just turned off or if it's back on? Because I know there's a lot of glare for the canvas, looking at the canvas when it's on. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still getting over that ickiness. So if you like the light on or off, it, either way, I can see, I can see better the canvas with it on, but I'm doing these videos so you can see them and, and myself, and I can see I can just look through the, the, the viewfinder to see what you see, which, you know, it doesn't pale to compare to what I can see here. These colors are so much more vibrant in person. But I think I'll turn this light off because the colors look better, I think, to you through the viewfinder with it off. Anyway, I'm going to do that for now. You let me know and I will go with the majority. Because, you know, majority rules. Oh, yep, it's lifted on this side, too. Just a tiny bit. It's that same one, same piece. So, it was just a small section of it. Alright. And here you can see Daisy and Donald. I don't know if you can see it. They're over here. It's upside down, I know, but I can't do anything about that right now. Yeah, you can see Daisy's bow and Donald's hat. Ooh, that was close. I almost stuck the sticky to itself. I am so happy with this. I'm just, uh, you have no idea, or maybe you do have an idea. You've got, I'm sure every, well, if you're fairly new, you may not have gotten, had any bad canvases, but see now this, it actually does have what, what, um, Brandy calls buckling. I noticed this, but I wasn't sure. It's when, I think you have to pull and stretch it out to do that. I don't know. 
It's when this the edges here, because see how it's wavy? It's, it's kind of wavy. And what she said is that happens when they print the canvas out and while the canvas is, the ink is still hot and the canvas is still warm or whatever, then they place the um, adhesive on top of it so it causes the canvas to buckle because the the adhesive is, it makes, the heat makes it shrink up a bit so then it kind of squishes the canvas because that's, I can see that happening right here. Brandy, if you end up watching this, let me know if that's what you are referring to as buckling because that's that's what I understood. Let me just try and pull it. I don't know if that'll help. Maybe if I put it on a stretcher bar for an hour or something. I don't have a stretcher bar, so I don't know. All right, but I don't know how that will turn out with it like that um, once you put diamonds on it. I don't know if it'll affect it or not. I've never seen that. Or I, it was small, whatever I had was small enough to where it didn't matter. I've just never noticed. Oh, just a little update. Teslin went, um, we took her to the doctor today for a follow-up. Have her listen to her lungs and she said they sound great. And <laughs> when we went in, in in March to have her well check and she had to get all her, her um, immunizations at that point, they gave her a flu shot. So she got three shots back in March. Well, today <laughs> it's a new flu season. So she had to get a shot and she was not happy because we just got her back into accepting going to the doctors again because she already got her shots. <laughs> so eye drops and shots are things she can't stand because when she goes to the doctor, the eye doctor, once a year, she has to have um, her eyes dilated. And she doesn't like that at all. Okay, so canvas number one, nine out of 10 points. And that is a huge improvement over the first one. So let me, I'll, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to get the other one up here. Okay. Yeah. When I opened, when I felt that box, how light it was, and I wasn't thinking, you know, no drills, it's going to be a lot lighter. And I forgot that they're only 40 centimeters, um, the length was only 40 meet, 40 centimeters. So they could, they would be able to fit into a box, a regular box. For some reason I was thinking they were in a much larger box, but that was, I was going to be like, I waited another, a whole two months for these now. And I, w I was going to be upset if I had to wait another month because I thought maybe they only sent one because, um, I had to go above the normal um, avenues to get these replaced because they weren't, she wasn't going to do it. And so basically I talked to her supervisor and, and she did it got her to do it. And I just, so sometimes it's just, sometimes it's so hard to communicate or understand what they're saying. And then you, you have to wait a whole day to get a verification as to what they were saying or to clarify. So sometimes it can take like a whole week back and forth just to get, you know, a simple, a simple, um, sentence out. This is getting frustrating, but it's it's on there really tight. I don't know. Normally, I don't have a problem getting these off. I'll try at this end. I can't even break it. Maybe they're using thicker. Oh, I hope that dirt is on the in outside. Look at that there's dirt on it. I don't I don't want to touch it and find out. If it's inside or out. Looks like it was on the outside. Okay. Good. There we go. 
now we mess with the tape. Okay, this is my other one. I'll show you the picture. This one I paid twenty dollars and eighty-two cents. It's a one twenty by forty. And this is what it looks like. And blame this one on Danielle Stitcherista. Because I saw this on her channel and I went and did it as a custom because I don't know, the shop she did it at was really expensive. Um Yeah, this one had huge puckers as well. It took three weeks to get here the first time. And I didn't write down when they shipped it. I know I should have when they reshipped the replacement because, you know, sometimes they say they ship something and you kind of have to wait to see if the, the tracking really works because some companies will just say that. But I haven't had that issue with this company. They've been pretty good with saying they're going to send something out, and they do. All right. This one looks a bit beat up. It's got some indentions here. But let's hope that didn't affect the canvas. That might have just been from the roll of tape. Well, let's look at the back because that's my big concern is with the puckers. It's a bit dirty. It's kind of, it is, this one's buckled too. You can see the, the buckling already right in here. I don't know if those are going to be bubbles or not, but it kind of feels raised on the other side, but it's not puckered this way. So far, the rest of it's good. There's another one of those spots like that, so I don't know what that is. And, yeah, it's kind of like um, like someone grabbed it with their hands. Yeah, look at that. Like someone grabbed a hold of it. And, wow, this just got put through the ringer. Can you see that? Look how it's... Um, It's all wrinkled. And I mean, look at the back. It looks, it really looks like somebody grabbed it with their fist and had gathered it up right here and just had a yank on it or something. Oh boy. Let's just hope that that's not the case. We'll start this way again. I think I made it work really well. As long as it's more... Not more than 40 centimeters this way. I can fit it on here. This table just have to fiddle with the other direction. So there's the symbols again. Lots of browns and blacks in this, even though there's 50 colors. The red is basically just for the walking dead symbol. And I guess blood. I guess that walking dead symbol is supposed to look like blood. Yeah. There are... 31,215 310s. And yeah, the next closest would be 4,850 of 3371, which is probably a, a brown, it looks like. Uh, where'd it go? Yeah, it looks like kind of a green, greenish brown. Okay, foam roller. Okay. Here we go. Nervous again, because it has these spots here too. This has four sections as well. Going slow. Okay, you can see um, Maggie and Glenn and Abraham. And then Daryl. Who's next to Daryl is Michonne. But we didn't get quite to Michonne yet, so let's fold this under. Okay. 
So far it looks okay. I am going to turn this light on for a minute so I can see these creases to make sure they're not overlapped. I think it is overlapped over here. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Now you can tell if it's overlapped by, even if you can't tell with your eyes, um, by just looking at it, when you start pulling it up, if you start seeing like the, the glue looks like it's coming up, that's because one piece is over the other one. And that means it's overlapped. I'm sure you could figure that out, but some people may not be aware. Yeah, that's Daryl. Everyone has such a big... Well, not everybody, but a lot of people have a big crush on him. I just couldn't... I wouldn't be able to handle having just a photo of just him. Either him or Negan. I mean, I liked um, Jeffrey Dean Morgan before he was Negan. Oh, great. Oh, that was not good. My cord got on the... Oh, it should be okay. It just left a little mark. But, um, yeah, I like... I, I kind of got a crush on him when I, I was watching him on Grey's Anatomy. I never watched... Um, Supernatural, which is where he originally... Um, which I saw him on it because my husband... And my daughter, Stephanie, watched that show, but, and I knew he had been on that one, but I never watched him until Grey's Anatomy. He's a great guy, it's just, his character is not very nice in this show. Yeah, no, maybe, it may have been overlapped just a tiny bit, but not enough to where it's affecting anything because right here it's not overlapped okay so you're not going to see much either way I mean you can see their faces and that's basically all it is because they're in shadow but I really hope this painting comes out good just because it is such a dark subject the subject matter is dark and the only color really is in the words or around the words yeah this one actually that buckling is not really evident in this one it might be a tiny bit but not enough for me to knock a point off so Um, so far, so far we're at a 10, 10 out of 10. So there we go. That's the whole canvas, or at least this half of it. So it looks really, really good to me. So let's cover it up and we'll look at the other half and, um, then I can, uh, I've got my next video I'm going to do after this one. Oh, I'm excited. Got some stuff to show you. Yeah, I almost told you what it was. I mean, I could give you a little spoiler, but yeah. Let's just say I have things to show you. All right, got that down. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I love shopping. And what I love even more than shopping is being able to show somebody what I bought. And what's even better than that is the people I'm showing appreciate what I have and being just as excited as I am. And that's you guys. I'm glad I have you guys because 
I don't have any, like, well, I have very few friends as it is locally, but um, I have very few people who I can just talk to about those kinds of things. Like, oh, I went and bought more yarn or, or I got, I got diamond paint. And they'll be like, uh-huh, okay. Well, that's mainly my husband. <laughs> He doesn't care now that, you know, he doesn't have to pay for any of it. But not like it was him paying for it anyway. It was us paying for it. But now it's not him paying for it at all. And that's, this is the only plug I'm going to put into it. When you guys um, watch those ads, I don't, even, I don't even know how it worked. But the reason I put the ads in there is so that I can continue to do this for you guys. Because that is what helps keep my channel afloat. Because the months before I was able to actually monetize, um, honestly, we actually were overdrawn in our account three months in a row. And that was the first three months of my channel. So... Uh, You'd be amazed at what just a little bit of monetization can do to help um, support a channel. And when you click those links down below my, um, in the description section, the ones for Amazon, though that also, I mean, it's, trust me, it's not a lot, but it helps when you click on the link. Um, so if you know that you want to buy something that you've seen in one of my videos, if you could just, you know, go through that video that you found it on and click the link through there, that would be just, you know, helping me out and it's, and it doesn't cost you anything. It really doesn't. And you're supporting your, um, your Donnie, your Donnie and Teslin channel i'm sorry this uh, this is with these long strips like this it got really off to the point where it wasn't even being covered at the top so i had to redo this and this is my biggest i know you guys know my biggest pet peeve about these comp the the who can companies i love them don't get me wrong but it's the strips i don't I just don't do them well. And I can't go without getting it straight because now it's making a big, um, it has a big bubble over here or it's not laying down at all. So I'll just talk to you while I'm trying to do this. Let's see. Um, a lot of what I want to talk to you about, I'm going to be showing you in my next video. But let's see. Um, 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 um yeah, um. I'm really uh, almost, almost, almost got it. It's almost like these are made out of stretchy fabric. Oh, I watched a movie last night called As Is Above, So Is Below. And I had no idea what the movie was about, but it, it was basically had a lot of uh, things that... We're in Dante's and the Dante's Inferno. I don't know if that's a book or folklore. I don't know what it is, but the movie was really interesting. And I was, we were going to watch a movie that Danielle had mentioned in um, one of her Drill With Me's. But the movie that she had mentioned, it was called Burnt Sacrifices or something like that. And Burnt something. And we started watching it and we're like, I don't know. This this movie was like um, released in 1976. And then my husband looked it up. And he says, yeah, there's one for 2018. I'm like, oh, okay, that must be the one. And we couldn't find it anywhere. It wasn't on Netflix. It wasn't on um, Amazon. Because Amazon's the one that had the 1976 version. Okay. 
but we got a couple. We, we really like scary movies. That's we're really into that kind of thing. So probably something got cut off. I just noticed that my phone, my recording just went past the clip time that it starts a new clip. So some of my words may have gotten cut off. I'm terribly sorry. That's what happens when I get into my work. Now here's the side that really looks beat up, looks beat up over here on this section. See if you can see it better with the light on. I don't know. I can't see it too well through the camera, but I mean, it looks used and abused. But we did, uh, Voodoo had a sale on some of their, their Halloween sale. And remember, this is going to be upside down now. So movies for like $10. And so my husband bought like three I'm hoping Tesla goes to bed early enough tonight that we can watch one because they had um, parent teacher conferences today and tomorrow. So there was no school today, no school tomorrow. And Wednesday was early release day. But she's completely over her sickness. So it's not like she needs more time to recuperate, but it does have, you know, it, it's nice that she will, st I think it's still nice to have, give her lungs a little bit of an extra break. She didn't do PE or wasn't um, able to go play on the playground this week because we wanted to keep her from having an asthma attack or something after being sick with pneumonia. This side looks really good. I mean, it's wrinkled beyond, uh, oh, well, I mean, it's wrinkled, but it's not to the point. Here, let me get the last piece off before I speak. Okay. There we go. I don't want it to fold in on itself like that. Here's that area that was wrinkled up in here. So it still looks fine. It's shiny. It's flat. No bubbles. No puckers. So I don't know how they got away with what they whatever it was they did to it and not caused wrinkles. I'm impressed. All right, guys. So this one is a 10 out of a 10. So I just, you know, spent 45 minutes of your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. And, you know, just a little mess, you know, just is just my experience. And they made it right. Even if I did have to go to somebody else to get it taken care of. If you, you know find you're having issues. I mean, I didn't want to file a dispute because I would have filed a dispute because of the fact that I do work with Evershine and I work with Cherry. Um, and that's why I went to her. But if you have an issue like this, uh, file a dispute and I'm sure they will be more than happy to replace it for you. I mean, this is $35 worth of canvas. Well, the canvas is with the drills. They didn't have to replace the drills, but I did have three canvases replaced within that week because they were awful. One had the glue overlapped so bad, but that was through Huacan and Cherry replaced it. No problem. No questions asked. She, well, I showed pictures. She replaced it and if the people had ever shined if I wasn't working with them, because, well, they send me stuff so that I can show their new products once in a while, then I would have, I would have just straight up went and, um, disputed, opened a dispute. And sometimes with some of these sellers, that's what you have to do to get them to listen. Don't be afraid to open a dispute. I mean, unless you're working with them or something. But there you go.
perfect. Perfect. But yeah, it does look like there's a bit of buckling. I do not know how that's going to affect it. I mean, it kind of waves through here. I don't know if there's a way to fix that. I think this is the thing they were talking about where you can use a blow dryer on it. I'll have to test that one of these days on um, one of those, one of my canvases that I don't care too much about. But anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go before my camera freezes up because it looks like it might be doing that. And take care. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I'm super excited about seeing you in my next video. So I'm going to think of a question real quick here. Um, so apparently my phone did decide to crash on me. So the question of the day is, what is your favorite subject for a custom? Not necessarily even favorite, but yeah, what hmm, favorite? I guess that would be the word. Um, what, it, what custom did you order that is your favorite or what would you order as a custom if you have not ordered one yet? I'm just curious to know what subject matter people like to do as customs. Like I have, um, most of my customs are of family members with my mom or my daughter, either, um, customs of Teslin with somebody or customs of my mom because that's what I'm giving for gifts um, are my siblings with my mom separately. So that's three different paintings that are ginormous. So there you go. Question of the day. Please don't forget to write your comment, your answer to the question down below and give me a um, like my video if you did. And I will see you in that next video. Take care, guys. Bye.